Because of the pandemic, people stayed at home and worked remotely, which led to business owners becoming more interested in digital marketing. This eventually gave business owners many chances to target their customers online using digital marketing strategies. Furthermore, business owners recognize that investing in digital marketing yields more significant returns. It is also predicted that by 2026, digital marketing will have reached $786.2 billion and that will be the future. Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Today we'll talk and learn about digital marketing from its definitions to the skills necessary to become a digital marketer. So let's take a brief look at the agenda. Today, we'll be discussing on what is digital marketing. Then we'll also see why or how it is better than our traditional marketing. After we understand that, we'll look on to some of the forms of digital marketing. And lastly, we'll also see the skills you require to become a digital marketer. So with no wait, let's get started. Digital marketing. If we go on the definition, digital marketing is nothing but the marketing and advertising of a business person, product or service using online channels, electronic devices or digital technologies. It is a strategy that allows you to communicate with existing customers and those who are interested in your products or services by utilizing multiple digital channels such as social media, pay as per click, advertising, search engine optimizations and email marketing. As a result, you can create a brand, give an excellent customer experience attract new clients and much more. I hope that was clear to you. So as you can see in the television, a character is trying to distribute the pamphlets among the people, but they are simply ignoring it. This is how what used to happen during traditional marketing. We also know that time we had no digitalization, but now in this digital era, you can see that now you have so many platforms where you can just post or just advertise or brand with one click and you can get n number of responses. To know better, let's see how digital marketing is better than traditional marketing. Well, as you can see over here, the first one is traditional marketing and the second option obviously depicts the digital marketing. Starting with the engagement, if we talk about traditional marketing, Traditional marketing uses restrictive methods to carry out marketing process, which leads to one-way communication. That is why it has less number of engagement. Whereas if we talk about digital marketing, the utilization is two-way communication, which increases the client happiness, also increases the engagement between the both ends. Next is investment returns. In traditional marketing, the returns on investments for traditional marketing is very challenging and it's quite difficult to measure. Whereas in the case of digital marketing, it is very straightforward to calculate. Using different analytical tools, it makes it more simple to measure the investment returns. Now, if we talk about the effectiveness, then in the traditional marketing is not as effective as digital marketing. Because in traditional marketing, you have a more expenditure, like you spend more money, like in TV advertisements, radio, banner ads, broadcasting, sponsorships, print ads, etc. So it obviously takes a lot of effort and wealth, but it ends up showing less effectiveness because it is only one way communication. Plus, there's no strong engagement in traditional marketing. Whereas in digital marketing, the expense is very less. Because nowadays we have search engine optimization, pay as per click advertisements, web designs, content marketing, social media, email marketing. And all these are like open source platforms where you can just easily like advertise your product, brands, anything. And here you get a lot more effective results as you have good number of engagement and you get good responses from the customers or new clients. If you talk about targets in traditional marketing, there are standardized ways for targeting users. That means that there are limited ways where you can target those many number of users. You can't customize it or you can't go ahead the standardized limits. Whereas in digital marketing, the targeting is totally customized and relies on the type of users. 
so here based on the requirement by the user you can just customize your targets like you can either increase your targets or decrease your targets based on your requirements while talking about the reaches here in traditional marketing the reaches are local because as i said that you have a standardized limits and you are only bounded with limited uh, ways like for example tv advertisements pamphlets newspapers which are like only within the locals and you have no accuracy or you have no assurity that you will be getting the response at once so in digital marketing it is totally global here you don't have to roam around and look on to people you just have to sit and just advertise and people will come to you so these were some of the key differences which let you know that how digital marketing is more better than traditional marketing now let us see what are the forms of digital marketing so there are seven different forms of digital marketing it starts with search engine optimization you may most likely heard the term before but may not have asked the question that what is seo or what is search engine optimization well i have an answer to that search engine optimization or seo is the practice of increasing organic traffic on the search engine result page that is serp it is also known as organic search or listing if you want to rank number 1 for all the keywords you need to apply seo to increase your rank for example suppose you have a website where you can you just add like different recipes of ice cream so you add on blogs or videos related to that particular ice cream recipe but your website doesn't rank high in the organic search results whereas there might be several reasons why it doesn't happen it can be either your competitors have better content or you use weak keywords or you have a poor link building actives or either your web page load time is very slow or your website doesn't have a good user experience or your website is deindexed by mistake it can be any one of those things so if you plan to rank your website on the first page of seo we need to know their types of seo so there are two types of seos one is on page and off page seo so in on page seo it is a process of optimizing elements on your websites like keyword research title tags meta description header tags keywords internal links site maps so it is an important activity where it chooses the primary and the secondary keyword around which we will base the meta tags and the content on so here what what we focus is the search volumes competitions and relevancies next is the off page seo it is a method of promoting a website with the help of link building as a result it enhances the website's recognition credibility and trustworthiness and authority so with the help of seo you can actually have a better customer experience and you can save a lot of time and effort and focus on customer centric approach next is social media marketing social media marketing is a practice of using various social media channels to connect with customers and lead them to your products and services but don't feel bad if you don't fully understand the concept as the term often gets thrown around without a whole lot of thought about the clear definition so in a simpler way it is a form of a internet marketing that uses social media apps as a marketing tool Let's have a quick history on how social media began. Social media began in 1977 with a website called 6 degrees growing to around 1 million members who could create profiles and connect with one another by friending each other. Then the first decade of the 2000s saw the expansive social media growth with the addition of Friendsters, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, Snapchat, been interest and many other social media apps not all of them survived as we all know but they changed the internet landscape and marketing forever now you must be wondering how does a social media marketing work well a well developed social media marketing plan includes several steps all of which are required to get the most bang on your product it starts with a effective strategy 
So here, here you should determine your business goals and choose a path to achieve them. Then comes planning and publishing. At some point, you need to jump and start sharing content on the platforms with which you have chosen to engage. But unlike other marketing methods, the next steps are just as important as listening and engaging. The benefits of social media becomes apparent when people begin to comment, tag, share or message you. It's important not just to watch and listen, but also respond and continue the conversation. Finally, the part of a great social media marketing is reviewing analytics. You can track views, likes, shares, comments and other aspects of engagement to see what part of your plan have the most impact. So this is how an effective social media marketing works. If you work this accordingly, then your product or any service gets a huge impact from social media marketing. Next is content marketing. Content marketing is a strategic marketing approach focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant and consistent content to attract and retain a clearly defined audience and ultimately to drive profitable customer actions. So creating a structured content to augment website traffic, get new customer, make more sales and enhance brand awareness is vital to survive the rising competition in digital landscape. And content marketing is indispensable technique in the digital marketing strategy, which is why many marketers invest in content marketing. There are a few ways that makes content marketing more essential. First is your audience says it is. Here, consumers should find your content and marketing valuable and it's not just a hearsay. Data analytics will prove just how much your audience is engaging. Next, your competition is doing it. Other businesses in your field are likely promoting contents to the same consumers. Obviously, you don't want to miss a possible sale by having a poor content strategy that leaves you invisible on key platforms or absent from critical conversation. Your aim is to be preferred brand. Next is customer loyalty. By being a brand authority, you have higher probability of reaching your target's audience. Actively engaging with followers and potential leads will strengthen both your client base and the relationships. And lastly is increased sales and cost savings. Social media platforms, for example, are budget efficient. They lead you to many ready to buy consumers as they are open source and you get huge number of audience through social media. So the first step is to know the audience you want to reach and how your brand can assist. Asking yourself the same question a customer would ask, know the ins and outs of the type of content they consume and where they spend most of their activity online. Next is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is an advertising model in which a company compensates the third party publishers to generate traffic and leads to the company's product and services. These commissions can range from less than 1% to 20% or more depending on the product and the level of referral volume. So there are three types of affiliate marketers that are sellers and product creators, the affiliate or the advertisers and the consumers itself. So these were the different forms of digital marketing. Now that we have come to know the different forms of digital marketing, now let us know what are the skills you need to become a successful digital marketer. So in order to become a successful digital marketer, you must have an experience in SEO, marketing database, email, social media, and advertising campaigns. You must be highly creative with your ideas and you should have a solid knowledge on website analytical tools like Google Analytics, Net Insights, Omniture, Web Trends, and many more. And having a strong analytical skills and data-driven thinking will enhance your uh, skills as a digital marketer. So this was all about digital marketing. I hope you understood from start to finish. If you have any doubts, leave the comments down below in the description. Also, if you are interested in taking certifications in digital marketing, then do check out the link given below in the description. Until then, happy learning.